All right, now this is our fourth axiom, uh, independence of irrelevant alternatives, also known as IIA. Uh, I'll give you the uh, intuitive uh, description and then the formal description. And then I'm going to talk about a, an example uh, where a plurality rule, for example, violates this assumption. Uh, well, the IIA basically assumes the following. If an alternative, a candidate X, is the winner uh, from the set of candidates Y, well, then it should still be the winner if we reduce this uh, set of candidates from Y to Y prime by dropping some unelected candidates or irrelevant candidates, all right? Uh, so uh, what is the formal description? So for any preference profile, small u, on our restricted domain u, and for any subset of X, Y, uh, if... Uh, the candidate X is chosen at that uh, profile uh, while the set of alt uh, available candidates was Y. And if we consider another uh, set of candidates, Y prime, where X is still in the set, obviously, and, but Y prime is a subset of Y, well, then X should still be elected. So it is intuitive because in the sense that according to this voting rule, X, uh, I'm sorry, the candidate X beats all the other candidates. So we are shrinking this set of candidates. So that means X still should be beating all the other candidates according to this voting rule, right? Uh, so that's the idea. So it makes sense. Uh, but nevertheless, it's not, um, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, widely... Um, criticized assumption because it's a strong one. Well, why is that so? Well, because uh, this assumption, this axiom is, for example, violated by polarity, runoff voting, rank order voting, or the board account. It is, uh, however, satisfied by majority approval voting and, and range voting. Uh, well, uh, well, why is that? I mean, there is nevertheless a reasonable and, and, and sound defense behind this axiom, because if the voting rule violates this axiom, uh, we actually can observe a situation which is called vote splitting. And, and this example is actually from a real of, uh, uh, election data. Um, I'm not going to say who was the who were the candidates, but imagine a profile where 40% of the population voted, I'm sorry, uh, ranked A over B and B over C, okay? And then 35% of the population ranked over uh, ranked C top B second A uh, third, and then only 25% of the population ranked B first, C second, and A third. Let's suppose. And our a voting rule is plurality. Well, according to plurality, here the winner is going to be A, right? So the winner is A. Well, why is that? Well, remember plurality is the, well, the candidate who gets the highest vote. So here, 40% of the voters are going to vote for A, Remember, we do we ignore strategic voting. So we assume that these are true preferences and everybody is going to vote for his or her top choice, top alternative on their plurality rule. So 40% of the voters are going to vote for A, 35% will vote for C, and only 25% will vote B. And so there's no majority, but the A gets the most of the votes, and so it is the winner. Okay, so winner is A according to plurality. Well, here, which candidate is losing? Well, both B and C. All right, well, let's say C foresees this sort of uh, situation and decides not to enter to this, uh, uh, you know, competition at the first place. Well, that would mean, again, remember, these are true preferences, so we don't really have to re-ask those guys, voters, how would you vote? Just ignore C. Well, then what would happen? That, well, then 40% says A is better than B, but here, 35 plus 25, which means 60% says B is better than A. So if C was out of picture, out of race, 
Well, then B would actually win the election against A. All right. So if C is eliminated, then uh, B would win. All right. What does that mean? That means F of uh, U Y is equal to A. All right. However, f of u, the same preference profile, y prime is equal to b, where y is the set, all a, b, and c are present, and here y prime is the set, only a and b. You see what I mean? Well, what about if we drop b from the picture? Well, the same thing, if b is out of picture, 40% uh, of the voters are going to vote for a, however, uh, as you see, C is better than A, 60% of the voters are going to vote for uh, C. So C would win. You see what I mean? So it violates uh, independent of irrelevant alternatives because as we eliminate some of the alternatives, uh, well, the outcome, the, the voting outcome changes. Well, why is that so? Well, this is the situation that we call vote splitting. What's happening here? Well, here, if you look at it, 60% uh, of the voters are actually uh, preferring both B and C over A. So A is actually, in this picture, um, a Condorcet loser. Uh, I mean, if A is, 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 is racing, uh, had to had with uh, candidate B or candidate C, A would lose. So A is a Condorcet loser. So meaning the 60%, the majority of the population actually prefers uh, A, I'm sorry, B and or C uh, over A. But what happens, both B and C, the candidates B and C, sort of split the population as 35% and 25%. All right, you know, some of them vote for C, some of them vote for B. And so what happens is that, uh, you know, uh, A gets the plurality. I mean, the most of the votes, not the majority, but most of the votes and wins. All right. Well, again, uh, when plurality is the uh, voting rule, actually, this scenario happens a lot in real life. And this is just one simple numerical example. And so some people argue that the voting rule shouldn't allow a scenario like this. Uh, it shouldn't allow voting uh, vote uh, uh, splitting. But some other uh, people argue that, well, I mean, this is all about, uh, you know, racing for the office, right? You know, sometimes... Uh, having a candidate is a good thing for some candidates and eliminating some candidates are not always a good thing for, uh, for, 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 for the likelihood of winning the election. And so, uh, again, depending on the environment, depending on the, uh, you know, many concerns, uh, IIA would be an acceptable assumption or not, uh, but this is what it is. Okay, I hope that was clear.